This is Twit. Uh, Google recently announced the Android SE Alliance. Although now that I'm saying that, God, had they announced this before, they, or or maybe they didn't put a name to it, but we kind of knew something along this line. These lines was was coming. They're working with partners to integrate a secure element into um, into their partners' uh, hardware devices to so be a dedicated chip that handles hardware level encryption and decryption. This is very useful for things like uh, keyless entry. So using your phone as like the keys for your car, if if your car supports that. Also, you know, we know about digital IDs and digital driver's licenses. That's where I think we've heard about this. But maybe we didn't know that it was called Android SE Alliance. But essentially, Google is saying, all right, we're going forward with this. Uh, it's, you know, meant to be a broader solution than Google's Titan M security solution. Um, and, yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually very excited to see what things this alliance actually powers in the future, using our phones for more things, or maybe beyond just our phones, like maybe using our watch to unlock the the car, you know, if we have a car that supports it. That would be pretty darn sweet to just walk up to a car and go beep. And, and yeah, go right on, it's, what, it's, on what platform? On Wear OS? Yeah, well, that's a good question. <laughs> Who the heck knows wow. the yeah. answer to that? I'm wow. just wondering, Flo, I'm Flo just wondering from, what platform you were thinking of. That's that's all. <laughs> Flow went from zero to 60 on anti wear OS. It's like not even like a couple of minutes into I'm the just, first story. I'm just and, so and like, it's, it's a friend that keeps letting you down. And yeah. I, I I don't yeah. have time for that in my life. So, yeah. If you, uh, if, if you tick me off, you know, 400 or 500 more times Android Wear OS, then I'm out. Well, if you're well, unreliable and ex and you cost me a lot of money, like why would I want to hang out with you? Yeah, true. Well, and but the, the back to the story though, <laughs> Wear OS aside, yes, yes. this is the kind of technology that we're looking at. Like the 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 phone is becoming the digital device extension of ourselves, right? And it's funny because you know a lot of you know. It's come up on the show before, but I, I, I do enjoy the Disney parks and, and uh, in Florida, uh, you know, with all the changes post COVID and Disney World. And one of the things that there's been speculated about is that are they going to get rid of they have those magic bands, which have the little RFID tag mm -hmm. um, and you use them to, you know, you, to unlock the door to your hotel room and to you know tap in for your fast pass and you can pay with it and stuff like that. And, you know, there's a lot of speculation that that's going to go away and just be replaced with your phone. Because everyone has a phone and phones can do all this and you don't – then they won't need to make something for you to, to be able to be connected to and, and all that yeah. sort of stuff. And this is the same concept. It's, you know, like having – you know, like I'm using Google Pay or G Pay or whatever it is called now all the time now. I go to – as a supermarket, at mm -hmm. Walgreens, at the hardware store. Like mm -hmm. it's becoming more – like to the point where like sometimes I forget my wallet and I get worried yes. so I don't have my license, you know, like and if I get pulled yes. over. like. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm I'm not taking my wallet out as much as I used to. And yeah, so um, now that said, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm I, you know the thing that makes me worry about it is that I've been having a heck of a time with my Pixel 4a um, and just like holding Wi-Fi connection. Like when I, whenever I have Wi-Fi on and try to make a phone call, I just get that calling and nothing happens because oh. it's trying to make the Wi-Fi call, right? And yeah. then I switch, I, I turn off Wi-Fi and LTE and it works fine, right? And like the same thing, like Slack does an update and stuff like that. So I, you know, something's going on with my network or with my phone, but it's the kind of thing where if for some reason your Bluetooth is wonky or like or whatever it's using to unlock the car, you don't want a situation where you can't start your car. That's my yeah, worry right. about this. You know, if so. that's if that's your only solution yeah. and it fails. As it's gotta be full technology yeah. does. Yeah, it's gotta be. Well, it's the same, well, it's the same conundrum that we've talked on the show many times that kept me from Google Pay or Android Pay or whatever the heck they've called it over the past eight years. Um, you know, like I've only in the last, I'd say, year or two really kind of used it with any sort of frequency because prior to that, I didn't feel like it was 100 percent And even right now, like on the OnePlus 9 Pro, still using this, it's great. Except I can't set up Google Pay on it. What? Um why? It won't let me. Does what? it work for you? I haven't yeah. tried to set up that yet. It it won't let me right now. I ch and I checked with a, my rep on that. I was like, why can't I set this up? And they said, when it releases, it will. So that's that's fine. Like they're probably going to put out an update. You know, something going on in the back end. I, I get it. 
But um, but it's those things that like ratchet down the confidence level as a user of these of these types of technologies. So you're absolutely right. If I can't depend on my phone always unlocking my car 100 percent of the time, oh, it's going to make it really hard for me to like find that level of trust and be like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm OK with it if it doesn't also, happen. <laughs> but see, this is the same issue that um, that sort of has befallen the the smart locks, right? So mm -hmm. people are afraid of smart locks. They're saying, well, I don't want to rely only on a phone to get into my house because if something happens to my phone, then how do I get in? Or if somebody steals my phone, they're going to like get into my house. But that's why you always have a fail safe. You always have a backup. You, you know, a lot of smart locks for it. As an example, again, offer physical keys or it goes over your existing lock so you can still use it, right? Mm -hmm. So I imagine we're not going to see I don't think those Disney bracelets are going to go away because people are just absolutely like bonkers over customizing them and all that stuff. I don't think credit cards are going to go away because there's, you know, other parts of the world that use, um, like they have cards with the chips in them, you know, and, and that's more normalized, let's say in some areas, I don't think keys are going to go away to cars. Um, I think it's just going to be an add on. So I, you know, I right. think they'll think about us there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I should, I should specify cause I, I mentioned the fact that it wasn't working on, on, uh, the one plus nine. Um, my contact said, uh, Google pay will work at launch once the build number is fully recognized with Google's safety net. So this is, so, and this, so this has happened in one plus. This is a good thing. You're ones. Google is protecting you from somebody putting your account on some other device somewhere. Right. That and just doesn't allowing it to go through. Nice. Totally. And, and that's not a ding on OnePlus, by the way. I don't say that as like, hey, but can you believe? I'm just saying it as like an example of, you know, when I'm using this phone as my primary and I'm all in on Google Pay, now suddenly I have to like revert to old habits. And it's not OnePlus's fault. I, I totally get it. But the system in general of using your phone for certain things, you can encounter hurdles like this and then suddenly – you know, it could actually really screw you. I could be at the grocery store and forget that my phone doesn't do what it does 99% of the time usually right now because of this situation. And then what do I do? I got to drive back home and get my wallet. No one wants to have to do things. <laughs>